Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from DP Clubs. Uh, they were kind enough to let me choose a few items. So I'm going to start with the off the canvas and then we'll go bigger. So there are, there are loads and loads of off the canvas or what I like to call off the canvas items. So not your standard on a canvas diamond paintings uh, but they are diamond painting related. Uh, the, this is a key ring set of which there are many many key rings and every now and then ones just really catch my eye and that was the case with these because these are little musical ones. So we have a treble clef looks a little bit like a keyboard as well and then we have some musical notes and a guitar so you do get the little little ball and chain loop and you get your key ring attachment so you can pop that through there and then you can pop that through the hole on each piece and create yourself a key ring once you're done. So these are double sided. Uh, you do, will do both sides of them. They are on acrylic and they are sticky on both sides. There's just a very clear film that you pull off. So let's have a look at what colours and in turn what these bigger diamonds are. So we've got some of the bigger number six on these two and then we've got the big number seven on there. So in regular diamonds we have some black which is number one so that's primarily on these two. Oh and it does go around the outside of this one. Then we have silver which is on these two. Some purple is number three, which are on these two. Uh, then we have number four, which is just on the guitar, which is this yellow. And then the red is on these two and on the guitar. This is your number six. So we have a couple of these. I like to call these like little buttons on kiddies cardigans, very similar. Uh, but yeah, they have these lovely little cutouts on them. They're really pretty. Uh, we have those on these two. And then the bigger ones on the musical notes are these gorgeous little teardrops. So I thought that set was a little bit sweet, a little bit different to some of the others out there. I mean, I say different. They're all rather different and they're all rather nice. A lot of it is just whether it's something you've seen before or not. And I haven't seen these before. So to me, they were a little bit new and different. So that's item number one. But there are loads of different choices of key rings if you fancy a fun little afternoon project. I also chose two diamond paintings. I think it's one round, one square. This first one is a round, yes. It is this gorgeous landscape. It's down as a 30 by 40, but the actual diamond painting or drilling area is 25 by just short of 35 but I thought this would this is sort of it's got a when I say a cartoony effect but it's not really abstract effect that's more what I'm thinking of um it's still got a lot of the right colorings but it's also just that little bit different colors in it are striking and gorgeous and they come in a baggies which really helps you do also get your standard toolkit but yeah I thought they were really really nice so I'll pop a link of course to this one down below and then I also got a bigger one in square which I'll also link down below <coughs> excuse me uh, this one is down as a 60 by 50 Ooh. 
Uh, it does come with a toolkit, but the diamonds are actually all in packets. They're in those little packets that can make kitting up eventful. Uh, so the actual size for the diamond painting area of this one, you actually lose quite a bit. So this is 51 and a half centimetres by 42. So you really do lose quite a bit with this border. It does have DMC numbers. In fact, they both do. This one has 30 colours and it is a gorgeous image and you can still tell the image. Um, but the border around it definitely cuts the image down quite a bit. Because really, that image there looks more portrait and this is ever so slightly landscape ever so slightly it was wasn't it or am i not thinking right 51 yeah 51 by 42 this one's ended up being ever so slightly landscape but that looks a bit more portrait I'm not sure if we're a bit squished or whether we've just lost the top a little bit but we do have some really nice colours I am just going to hold it up this way because this is a lot of diamonds to pull out um, but we have some gorgeous I really like that mustard type colour I'm not actually sure where that one to go 977 equals sign oh so that's actually scattered in quite a few different places gives the different tones in the grass there's quite a lot in the background grass of that mustard but we've got some gorgeous red for the poppies and we've got say quite a few earthy tones mixed in with some green as well to give us that meadow in the background we've even got a little bit of hot pink in there it's amazing what colors can actually make up what your eyes see or your eyes think they just see red well actually that can be made up of quite a few different colors but it will give you the overall effect of red we've got some burgundy we've got some gray We've got quite a few different shades of green, even if they're not bright, vivid green. We've got quite a few shades of green and quite a few shades of sort of yellow, peachy colours as well, which is actually quite a few colours in this background grass. It's sort of more of a yellowy tone than a green tone, but I still think that is a beautiful image. And I know a lot of people like to do squares so I do like to vary up the images if I can so yeah we have today a nice selection we have a big square a smaller round and an off the canvas project but I will pop links to each of these individual ones down below in case they have caught your fancy and you want one for yourself um, I'll pop the links down below but feel free to go and have a browse because there are many more options to choose from um, many off the canvas crafts and gazillions of different options for paintings but thank you to DP Clubs for sending me these to share with you all and thank you to you guys as always for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.